Nice to have you along on this Monday morning, July 1st. It's almost here. People across the nation will celebrate the 4th of July, and now is the time to finalize your travel plans. No matter where you're going, you'll have plenty of company. Nearly 41 million people are going to hit the road, and many will drive 50 miles or more to get to fireworks or barbecues or to attend Independence Day celebrations. That being said, AAA reports the number of people traveling out of town is actually down this year. Talk a little bit more about this. Travel expert Kathy Banks. Hey, morning, Kathy. Good morning. So first off, I guess I have to ask the question, how are the gas prices going to be? They're still way too high, but they are slightly lower than they were last year, which is why it kind of surprises me that uh, they're predicting less people are going to travel this year. Yeah, maybe it is the price of gas. I was I saw around here it's like three fifty three for a regular, and I thought, wow, that's good. Then I thought, wow, that's good. I'm saying three fifty three is good. Right. It's just all a matter of perspective, isn't it? Sure is. How are people spending their weekends? Because the 4th of July falls on a Thursday this year versus last year it fell on a Wednesday. Well, last year people traveled. More of them drove because you can get further, more worth it. Like we're contemplating driving to Alabama next month, but we don't want to drive because we won't be there very long. It's a long drive for a short stay. Last year when the 4th was on Wednesday, more people drove and less people flew. This year... Slightly more people are flying and slightly less people are driving because of the shorter weekend. Mm -hmm. How are the hotel rates? I think some hotel rates are soft. Whenever it's a holiday that people are going to travel, this weekend is not the time to get a hotel deal. You mm -hmm. know, next, next weekend would be that weekend. Sure. And if you're yeah. looking to book something last minute, you know, because there's a lot of us out there that do that, I would be one. Uh, any websites or any services you might recommend people take a look at? Man, for last minutes, I think any of the auction sites probably for a last-minute deal. The, the smartest thing, of course, and what I always recommend is do plan ahead. So pe maybe if you're thinking about a trip, maybe start thinking toward Labor Day. You're, you're even still, if you're trying to get a great deal for Labor Day, you're a little bit under the gun even now. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, camping is something a lot of folks like to do, but I, I know because my sister and brother-in-law own a campsite, the weather has not cooperated because it's rained on the weekend, so uh, the camp uh, sites uh, have been down. Have you found that to be, generally speaking, across the country? How are the camping sites doing? In my professional life, campsites aren't something that I normally deal with. In my personal life, I'm a big-time camper. I love to camp. I'm here in Texas, though, and Texans do not camp in July. Yeah, I would, I would say not, because the temperature's got to be crazy there now, huh? Yeah, you know, this week we're having a cool front, which is totally not the subject of what we're talking about. But it's wonderful for us. Yeah, well, it's 117 in Las Vegas, in case you missed the heat, Kathy. Yeah, no, 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 not doing that. <laughs> Kathy Banks, thanks for your time this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one. Kathy Banks, travel expert on what to expect on this 4th of July weekend.